Hey guys, it's Jen Neal, your Activities and Fitness Manager here at Sea Colony. We hope you guys are staying safe, healthy, and active during this time. We know it's hard, but we really, really hope that these videos are encouraging you to get up and move every day. Um, we do want to hear from you, so if you have any questions or comments about the workouts, please shoot us a message on Facebook and we will get back to you. Alright, check out another one of our videos. Hi guys, this is Sean Lewis from the Sea Colony Fitness Center. I'm back for another workout. Today we're gonna to do another full body workout. I have about five exercises, some of which require um, two sets because we'll do one leg and then the other leg. Um, and we're gonna go through four rounds today. So, um, so the rounds aren't gonna be very long, so we wanna go high intense, we wanna challenge ourselves, and then we'll get a break in between each. All right, so like I said, it's gonna be full body. Um, Take drink, drink breaks as you need. Um, if you need to pause my video to take a drink break, absolutely do so. Um, and I'll give you time in between each set uh, to grab a drink as well, all right? So we are gonna start with a squat hold, all right? We're gonna squat down, we're gonna hold for five seconds in a good squat position, and then we're gonna come up, all right? We're gonna do eight total reps. If it's too hard to hold this squat at the bottom, then we're just gonna do regular squats until we're done, okay? Uh, modify any of the workouts as you need. If you have any questions, please let us know. All right, here we go. All right, five second hold for eight reps. Ready? And here we go. Down and hold. Two, three, four, five. And up and back down. Two, three, four, five. And up. Back down. Two, three, four, five. And up. Down. All right, halfway through, four more. Now, if it's too hard to hold this, just do a regular down, up squat. Two more. See how my knees are not going over my toes. Last one. And relax. Whew, you should feel a good burn there right off the bat. Okay. Single leg deadlifts. Next, um, if you have a medicine ball or any kind of um, weight or a weighted bag that you want to use for these to add a little bit to it, you can. I'm not. So um, I'm going to show it to you without weight, which is fine, which most of you um, will be doing as well. Okay. So on one foot, my right knee is going to stay slightly flex. Okay. I'm not straight, but I'm also not here. Okay. On one foot, I'm going to reach down and swing my other leg up and then come up. Okay, I'm almost reaching down to the ground and back up. We're going to do 10 on each leg. You're going to feel a big pull in your hamstring. Now, if that's too hard to do, grab a chair, okay, and just hold on to the chair. All right, you can do it with that, okay? Much easier, you don't have to worry about the balance. But, try to challenge yourself, and if you can do it without the chair, do it without the chair. Nine, and 10. All right, try to swing the other leg up high. Other leg, here we go. One, see how my knee stays just slightly bent the whole time. Two, these are not easy to balance. Three, you'll feel a big time in your hamstring. Four, five, find that sweet spot. Six, there we go. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Whew, good job. Well done. All right, the next one, um, they're called mountain climbers. Uh, it's a really good exercise for increasing speed for athletes, um, but it's a good high intense um, exercise for anybody. It's gonna get our heart rate up, all right? So there's a couple variations of it. So 
you're going to get in this position, and you can do it a couple different ways, okay? You can either, A, just drive your knees up like this, and then go back, all right? Or you can drive them up and touch this on the ground, okay? Now, if these are too hard, um, then what you can do, you can just stand up and do high knees. Same idea, okay? So if it's too hard to do it on the ground, just do high knees. And if you can't jump doing high knees, just go up like this, okay? So we're gonna do 50 total, okay? Ready? So you wanna drive your knees as far up to your chin as you can. You don't wanna just do this. You wanna drive them up to your chin as high as you can. Ready? 50, I'm gonna go quick. All right, go at your own pace and go. And relax, good job. And there's 50, well done. All right. So we're gonna do an up-down plank now, okay? 45 seconds. And then at the end, we're gonna add a little something to it that you don't have to do. So by up-down plank, here's what I mean. So we start here, all right? We go up, up, down, down, okay? So that's an up-down plank. You don't have to do it like that. You can just do a regular plank. At the end of the 45 seconds, you're gonna do a push-up burnout, okay? As many as you can um, until fair. So if you're going down for push-ups, if you have to take a two-second break, then stop, okay? Even if you can stay up, stop. So I want you to do push-ups until you have to stop, okay? Continuously, if you have to take any kind of breather, you're done, okay? So 45 second plank first, and then I'll do a few push-ups, and I'll give you some time to finish for those overachievers, all right? Ready? Here we go. Just hold this if you want to. If not, challenge yourself. Up, up, down, down. Notice how I'm still trying to maintain my flat back, and I'm not rocking at all. Trying not to, at least. Fifteen seconds left. And for the push-ups, if you want to do them but it's going to be too hard for you, you can go right, right to your knees after 45 seconds and then go. All right, push-ups begin. All right, do them from your knees if you need to. Keep going. Keep going until you have to take any kind of stop. And then you're done. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. I'll give you guys about 10 more seconds for those who are still going. If you have to take any kind of stop, then you're done. All right, good job. And for some reason you're still going, keep rolling and you'll catch up. All right, one more exercise in the round and then we'll take a breather. We're just gonna do regular reverse lunges, okay? But we're gonna do them all on one leg at a time. So we're not gonna alternate. I'll do my right leg first. Step back, drop the back knee, right into starting position, okay? My knee does not touch the ground, it gets as close to the ground as you can get. 12 each. Six. Step back, drop the back knee. Don't step just a little bit, or don't step too much. You want a regular step back. Give me three more on your current leg. One, two, and three. Good, switching. Cool. Ready? Other leg, begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Good job, relax. Grab a drink. Quick breather, then we're back for round two. All right guys, round two. 
We're gonna go a little quicker now that we know what we're doing. Um, I'm not gonna go too fast, but we're gonna move a little quicker, get a little more of a burn. All right, less rest this round. All right, round two out of four, starting with squat holds. Eight total, five second holds, ready? And here we go. If it gets too hard, just don't go as low. Two, or just do regular squats. Three. Halfway there. Two more. Good job. All right, burning already. All right, single leg deadlifts, all right? Bring that chair into play if you need to, if you need to hold on to it, okay? 10 on each leg, soft knee, all right? Here we go. Swing the other leg up. One, two, three, four, five. Find that groove. Six, oh, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now bring this other foot down if you need to rest in between each rep. Ideally, if you, if you can do it without doing that, great, but bring both feet down after each rep if you need to. Ready? One, two, again, if it's too hard. Use the chair. Two more. Nine. Ten. Good job. All right. Mountain climbers next. Or you can just do high knees. I'm going to show you the high knees this round just as an alternate form, okay? Reminder, mountain climbers, you're here, okay? If you don't want to do that, we're going to do high knees. 50 total, right? 25 each leg. Ready? Go. Drive your knees to your chin, okay? To your chin. Halfway. Ten more. Good. We want to drive our knees to our chin on that one. Important, all right? All right, up down plank. Push ups at the end, okay? Ready? 45 seconds. Three. Two, one, here we go. Flat back. Down, down, up, up. If it's too hard, you can just hold this or hold this. Your arm should be basically at a 90 degree angle. You don't want to be here. You don't want to be here, okay? Fifteen seconds, and then we're doing push-ups. Push-ups begin. As soon as you have to stop, stop. No pauses allowed. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. No pausing. If you have to pause, you're down. I'll give you ten more seconds. Go, go, go. Keep rolling, keep rolling. Good job, all right. Reverse lunges, if you're still doing push-ups, keep going. All right, 12 each leg, all one leg at a time. Ready? Go to form, one, two,
Three more. Good, shake it out. All right, 12 more. Other leg, ready? Here we go. If lunges bother your knees for some reason, you can just do body weight squats. Right, three more. Or just don't go as low. Step back, right there. 10, 11. You don't have to drop super low. 12. All right. Good job. Round two. You should start feeling it in the legs, upper body as well. All right. Remember, in between rounds, don't chug water. Just sip a few sips of water. All right, take a quick breather. All right, guys, round three, here we go. Be mindful of the modifications I've been telling you. If it starts getting too hard to do the original exercise, don't force it because what's gonna happen is you're gonna start altering your form and that's not good, you can hurt yourself, all right? So if it starts getting too hard, just do the modifications that I've been telling you, all right? Here we go, squat holds, five second holds, eight total reps. If it's too hard to hold, just do regular body weight squats, all right? and stop when you need to, take a breather when you need to, and just catch up when we're done, all right? Here we go. Five second holds, eight reps. Three, two, one, round three, here we go. Four, five, one, four. Good form, knees not over your toes. Halfway there. Six, two more, come on. Good start, well done. All right, deadlifts, all right. Don't use the chair if you're good. If it's getting hard, bring the chair, all right? Slight flex in the knee. Boom, up, 10 total. It'll still be challenging with the chair. It just takes out the balance aspect of it. If it's still hard, just go about right here. You don't have to go all the way down. If you have some dumbbells, add some weight with it. Two more. Good job. Ten each leg, remember. Oh, feel that. Ready? Other leg and begin. One. Two. Three. Should feel that in your hamstring big time. We're getting our lower back here as well. It's still not easy to balance with the chair. One more. Ah, good job. All right, mountain climbers or high knees? All right, I'm gonna go back to mountain climbers. Remember, we want to drive our knees to our chin. We don't just wanna go as quick as we can. We wanna go as quick as we can Efficiently, meaning correct form, all right? Driving the knees to the chin. The quicker you can go while maintaining that good form, that means you're getting faster and faster, all right? A lot of athletes will do this to try to increase their speed on the um, field or on the court, whatever it may be, all right? Here we go. I know there's a lot of tennis players watching this, so this is a good one for tennis players as well. Ready? And go. Four halfway. Ten more. One, two, three, four, six, seven. Good job. It gets the heart rate going. Hold on. All right, up down plank. Forty-five seconds into a push-up burnout. 
All right, three, two, one, and we go. Good form, maintain that flat back. If it's too hard, just hold. When we do our push-up burnout, if you can only do one or two, that's fine. It's hard to do after the holding this position for so long. All right. And push up. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. As soon as you have to pause, you're done. No pausing allowed. Go. Go. I'll give everybody about 10 more seconds. Don't stop just because I move on. You can catch up. If you're still going, good for you. All right, reverse lunges next. 12 on each leg, one leg at a time, all right? Here we go. Two more. Good, relax. Other leg, ready? 12 more. And we go. One, two, three, four. Nice and controlled and balanced. Six, if it's too hard, just don't go as low. Just like that. And 12, good job. All right, round three complete. Grab a drink, one more round, guys. All right, guys, round four, who's ready? Let's do it, let's end strong. Drink water as you need. It's gonna be the hardest round. Um, use my modifications, let's bust through it, and for those of you who want to overachieve, you can do another round after this if you want, alright? Here we go, squat holds first, 8 reps, 5 second holds, let's do it. Ready? And boom. Regular squats for those who can't hold. 2. By regular squats, I mean... Just up and down, okay? All right, I'm gonna start my fourth. Halfway there. Two more. Good job, well done. Single leg deadlifts. Use the chair if you need, all right? 10 on each leg. Ready? Here we go. Nice and balanced, soft knee. Seven, eight, nine. Ooh, good job. Relax. Other leg. Ten more. Ready? Here we go. A little shaky.
Three more. Good job, relax. Right onto the ground for mountain climbers. All right, stick with me guys, we're almost there. We're almost there. All right, 50 total, do high knees if you need to, or just do walking in place, driving the knees high, if you can't do the uh, high knees at a high intense, okay? Here we go, 50, and go. Halfway. Ten more. Good job. That's a lot. That's a lot. All right, up down plank for regular plank. Forty five seconds. A bit a push up right now. All right. Now if we're doing the plank and you can't hold it, go to your knees, count to five, and you're back up. Okay. Five second rule. Ready? Three, two, one, and begin. I'm just gonna hold a regular plank. Gets too hard, you're down. Five, four, three, two, one, we're back up. 20 seconds, come on. Now for the push-ups, again, go to your knees if you want to do them. If you can't do them, regular. And push-ups, go. No pausing. Keep going. If you have to pause, you're done. Keep going. Keep going. Give you 10 more seconds, let's go. Don't stop. It's gotta be getting hard now. Come on, finish strong, finish strong. We got lunges to end the workout and then we'll do a stretch, all right? 12 on each, one at a time. I'm gonna start with my right, here we go. Now your legs might be feeling it big time by this point. So again, you don't have to go all the way down. Just do this, see? I'm just going down a little bit. If you can, go all the way down. Good. Six, seven, eight, Three more on this leg. Good, relax. Other leg. Finish your arm for me. Ready? One. Nice and balanced. Two. Now, some people might need the chair for this one as well. That's fine. Three. If you do, completely fine. It's still effective. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, Twelve. Good job. All right. Don't go yet. Let's get a good stretching. Good workout, guys. Woo! All right. Go ahead and spread our legs. We're going to get our hamstrings first. Reach to one or the other side. Get a good pull in your hamstring. You don't want too big of a pull. And hold. We'll do about 30 seconds each. But stretch longer if you need to. Stretch longer. Stretch later if you need to. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Can't say it enough. Muscle recovery. All right, good, other side, same thing. Get a decent pull and hold. Sure, the workout wore me out. All right, good job. Bring our heels in. All right, now we use our elbows to push our knees to the ground, all right? And we'll get a good pull in our inner leg, our groin area, abductor area, and hold. Butterfly stretch. 
you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to us on our Instagram or Facebook. Or you can email me myself at sean.lewis at vacasa.com. Feel free to ask any questions, guys. All right, now we get our hips. All right, bring a leg, say your right leg over your left leg, and pull it in towards your chest, and you'll feel a good stretch out here. There's another way to do it. Bring the opposite elbow over and pull away. You'll feel this in your hips, outside hip here. We switch. All right, either here or here, and hold. Now this is an all levels workout, guys. You could make that extremely difficult if you're a little higher advanced. Um, you can make that a great workout. But if you're just a beginner, that's also a great workout. You can do all those exercises or modifications. and relax, good job. Again, stretch more if you need to, and if you get stiff later, stretch more, okay? Good job, guys, I will see you next time.